Hi there, welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to do another epilepsy video. I've not done one since before my marathon when I did one on epilepsy and exercise. And today I just felt I should perhaps do another one actually. I've had quite a lot of emails and stuff with people who've had similar experiences to me and I kind of wanted to follow on really. So today I just wanted to speak about problems I've had with partial seizures with other people not understanding actually. A lot of people don't know what a partial seizure is, whether it's simple partial or complex partial, um, unless you're actually experiencing it like we are, I'm assuming you are whoever's watching this. And a lot of people don't really understand it and that becomes a bit of an issue because I think they forget that we do actually have epilepsy. Now, when I was first going through the whole ordeal of being diagnosed, I was experiencing seizures maybe three or four times a day, which used to leave me really anxious and really, I didn't want to be very sociable at all. And so now I'm still getting bits and bobs that happen, but it's not the same as it used to be. So generally speaking, I can live a pretty much normal life and I think a lot of people forget that I do have epilepsy still and it, I have had to make massive changes really and it is a constant battle each day thinking am I going to have one but I know stretch of imagination is it as bad as it used to be and I used to be in constant fear of it happening but now I'm sort of you know I have to maintain a healthy lifestyle I need to keep exercising I need to have a good night's sleep and I can't get stressed not that any stress um, is gonna s suddenly push me over the edge but if I'm really really worn out stress and there's a combination of things then it's going to potentially put me at ri more of a risk than somebody else if that makes sense and so it's just a bit of a frustration thing because like the last few days I've had a bit of a what I like to call a bit of a wobble um, and I've had that feeling of deja vu come over me and I've got myself a bit freaked out by it because it's the same start of a feel it's the same feeling before I'd have a seizure but it doesn't escalate and it still leaves me quite anxious afterwards because I'm just like why is this happening and I, I feel I've had feelings recently of what I used to have which is that feeling of sort of guilt and that why is this happening you know what I mean I, I, I kind of beat myself up about it and that mirrors what I used to have but because I'm not having them as much anymore I almost forget and then but it still has that ripple effect of I'm feeling quite nervous or anxious uh, about when other ones coming so I'm currently in that little loop at the moment where I'm going am I okay is everything all right? Am I, am I, am I going to have anything happen to me? And being a, and so it, it does make me a bit nervous after that's happened, regardless. But they're still there. And a lot of people don't realise that because we don't have something very visual happening to us, that it's not as important. It's all important. And people are really quite narrow-minded when it comes to epilepsy, thinking that we're all, we've all got photosensitivity and we all have... A fit we might not have exactly the same feelings and things happen to us with a seizure and I think that's where people are really clueless about it and it's really really annoying anyway that was all I really wanted to talk to you about I wanted to keep it short and sweet and I thought next video because I'm getting quite a lot of questions and bits and pieces it'd be great to do a Q&A so if you've got a question for me email me below leave a comment if you like this video give me a thumbs up um, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel and I love to hear from you so please keep getting in touch because it's wonderful that you're actually enjoying these videos I'm making take care everyone bye